Best scene, blind vampire. Exterior, modern London street, night. Draven, 250, is a blind female vampire. She's wearing dark glasses and dark clothes. Draven holds a hornet attached to Boris as they walk down the sidewalk. Boris is a large dog with a powerful head. Celia, 55, and Melanie, 27, approach. They are dressed business casual. Celia is overweight and her clothes fit poorly. Melanie is dressed fashionably. I had to fire him. <laughs> but in that way? The opportunity presented itself and his pants were down. <laughs> Through Celia's POV, Draven sees herself and Boris approaching. Well, now that is an ugly dog. Trip. Celia stumbles. Are you okay? Fat ass is drunk again. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? This blind idiot is walking around at night alone. She probably doesn't even know it's, it's night. We are doing very well, thank you. It seems especially dark tonight. The two women pause until Draven laughs. Say it's probably darker for you than us. It's probably darker for you than us. No doubt. True to form, outrageous bitch. Boris sniffs the air and sees a can of pepper spray attached to the outside of Melanie's purse. Boris growls and Draven frowns. Be bad. Look, through Boris's black and white POV, Draven sees the can. Feed. Bad. Good Boris. Good Boris. That dog doesn't have much of a sense of humor. Neither do you. Exterior modern London street corner, night, later. At the corner of an alley, thug leader, thug two and thug three, males, twenties, lean against a wall. They are dressed shabbily. Thug leader clears his throat and nods silently towards Draven and Boris. Thugs two and three melt back into the alley. Hey, friend, got a light. Feed. Feed, good. Sorry, friend, I quit. I kept lighting my nose. <laughs> Just you two out for a stroll. Boris had to relieve himself. Boris, relieve yourself anywhere around here so long as I don't step in it. Thug leader recoils from Boris's stare. This is a tricky intersection. I'll help you cross. I did not remember there was a crossing at this location. I hear nothing. Draven frowns in concentration. Think your intent. She may not be worth it, but it's worth a try. She's small, no challenge. Oh, that's the tricky part. Things come out of nowhere. Thug leader pins Draven's elbows and roughly steers her into the alley. Protect, protect. Boris, protect. Now. Now! Draven releases Boris's harness, and Boris attacks Thug 2. Show me what you see. Through Thug Leader's POV, Draven sees Thug 3 standing in front of her. Thug 3 pummels Draven's face. Stop your heart. Thug 3 drops. Boris yelps. Through Boris's black and white POV, Thug 2 is repeatedly stabbing Boris. Thug Leader shoves Draven against a wall. Stop your heart. Thug leader drops. Thug two stabs Draven several times and pushes her to a wall. Draven's head hits the wall. Stop your halt. Thug two stands immobile as Draven is slumped down. Look around. Through Thug two's POV, Draven sees herself, Thug leader, and Thug three. Stab their hearts. Thug two stabs Thug leader and Thug three. Plentiful food, perhaps the most fresh. Open yourself. Thug 2 eviscerates himself and falls. Draven's fangs come out and she drinks Thug 2's blood from his abdomen. Boris. Through Boris's black and white POV, Draven sees herself fade to black. Shit. Thug 2 stirs. Be still. Draven hungrily drinks Thug 2's stomach blood. Exterior modern London street corner later. Draven is on her hands and knees next to Boris's body. Draven's face, neck, and clothes are bloody. Celia and Melanie approach. Celia is visibly drunk. There's someone laying on the sidewalk. It, it's that blind girl and her dog. Draven's head tilts. Obtain medical services. Melanie dials 911. 911, what is your emergency? There's a blind lady and her dog laying on the sidewalk. There are people on the ground, the alley. There's, there's blood everywhere. Blind fool out at night. Stop your heart. 